This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, light energy from the sun is converted into chemical energy. Here we have the equation for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide reacts with water in the presence of sunlight to form glucose and oxygen. Because photosynthesis is an endothermic process, the change in enthalpy, that's the delta H, is positive. Photosynthesis occurs in green plants in the presence of a light-absorbing pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a biological pigment. Biological pigments are colored compounds produced by living organisms. Pigment molecules absorb light in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum, which has a wavelength of between 400 and 700 nanometers. Here we have the absorption spectrum for chlorophyll. Chlorophyll appears green because it absorbs wavelengths of visible light at 430 and 660 nanometers and reflects the remaining wavelengths. Biological pigments have highly conjugated systems. A conjugated system consists of alternating single and double bonds. Here we have three examples of pigment molecules, chlorophyll, beta-carotene and retinol. If we look at the structure of chlorophyll, we can see it has alternating single and double bonds. If we look at the structures of beta-carotene and retinol, we can see that these pigment molecules also have alternating single and double bonds. It's these conjugated systems that are responsible for the absorption of visible light, giving pigments their characteristic colors. A color wheel can be used to determine the color of a pigment. The color that is reflected, which is the color that we see, is the complementary color of the color that is absorbed. So for example, a pigment that absorbs wavelengths of green light will appear red. So by looking at the color wheel, a pigment that absorbs green light will reflect the complementary color which is red.